Hey, Traveler, stop right there. I need to see some identification. Darn it. You've been yapping all evening. It's dark now. I was supposed to light the torches around town. Luckily, I always have my trusty torch belt handy. Ha <laughs> ha No monsters or ghouls shall take these fine city streets. Not on my watch. Uh-oh. It seems I might have been a little bit too late. Ah, uh, yes, a blacksmith shop. At the very least, I think I'm in the right place. No time to barricade the door. I better just grab what I can and get to work. All right, here goes nothing. Ah, uh, yes, well, that takes care of that now, doesn't it? Took me a second, but I managed to get the upper hand on this vicious little fella. Yes, indeed, life around these parts can be quite tough at times, but with the right tools at your disposal, like a belt full of throwing axes, some bioferrite torches, as well as some flaming arrows, damn near anything is possible. And that is why today, my friends, we are going to be reviewing and or showcasing all three of these mods. And of course, to make it clear, I am a big fan of these mods. They're what I would refer to as vanilla-ish mods. And as you can see here, the creator known as Miss Tall has about seven or so of these mods that are in a similar vanilla-ish style. Now, I keep throwing that term around, but to me, what vanilla-ish means is basically these are indeed mods, but I think that they would fit in perfectly with the base game as it is now, the vanilla game. Now, I'm sure we're all aware that other than some plate armor and some Neolithic tech, like maybe a bow and arrow or a club, the base game, the vanilla RimWorld, is really lacking in the medieval department and as are the DLCs. And that's where these mods once again come into play. First up, we have the Bioferrite Torch Belt, which is essentially just the Disruptor Flare Pack from the Anomaly DLC. However, unlike the Flare Pack, there's no research required for it and it can easily be crafted at a crafting spot or a smithy. It's also a quick, easy, and clever alternative medieval alternative alternative, I should say, to the flare pack. You know me, I love simple mods. Speaking of simple, we have some simple variations in the form of a fire crossbow as well as a fire longbow. In my opinion, this mod adds some realism to the vanilla weapons expanded mod. All they really do is just allow you to use a little bit of chem fuel to fuel the longbow and the crossbow to light your arrows on fire. Simple enough. In my opinion, something you should be able to do in the base game anyhow. But perhaps you don't like fire, and thus fire arrows and bioferrite torches are not for you. Well, in that case, my friend, you might fancy yourself some throwing daggers, or perhaps some javelin or throwing axes. Not to worry, my friend, for the throwing weapons mod has you covered. Once again, these can be easily crafted at a crafting spot as well as a smithy. Out of the three different belts that you can equip, the axes have the highest attack power, while the javelin have the highest armor penetration. Daggers have the lowest penetration penetration and attack out of all three, but they can be thrown much quicker and, from my experience, it would seem that you can also hold more daggers on the belt. The reloading process is quite simple as well, you just use a little bit of steel to replenish each belt. These mods are some simple and fun must-haves for any vanilla medieval playthrough, and or a colony for that matter. Now, unless you're new here, you probably already know, but just in case you don't for some reason, I always like to mention other mods that I would think go really well with the mods that we're currently discussing and or reviewing. So let's jump into that, shall we? Okay, so first and foremost, it is literally impossible to talk about RimWorld medieval mods without bringing up medieval overhaul. Personally, I find it great in every single way. It is wonderful, of course, there are some things that can be tweaked here and there with other mods that make it even better, but I am going to kind of not harp on it too much because I'm looking for more vanilla-ish medieval mods here to recommend and Medieval Overhaul, even though it is amazing, it's great, it is indeed a total overhaul. If you are interested in the mod though, as well as the similar mods for Medieval Overhaul that I've used to make these beautiful buildings, as well as any mods that are mentioned in this video, please check the video description as there is a mod list. Now, a little bit closer to vanilla, but not quite, is the tastier Armory Medieval European Armor Set as well. These armor sets, as mentioned, aren't exactly vanilla, but 
they're kind of close looking with the art style, and to be honest, they're just absolutely gorgeous, just like many of the armors and whatnot that are with Medieval Overhaul. Plus, you can open and close the front of the helmet like this, which is a really neat little feature I found. Now, along with that from the same creator is the Step Warriors set, as well as the Pike and Shot set. Though I will say with Pike and Shot, it appears to add quite a few muskets and flintlock weapons and things of that sort, so you might not be very interested in that, while the Step Warriors mod is just mostly for armor and a few weapons that kind of fit with the tastier European armors as well. Now, a personal favorite of mine that you've probably seen me use quite a few times if you watch my videos is the More Medieval Helms and Armor mod. There's a good number and variety of different types of helmets and armors, but something that's also quite interesting with this mod is that it adds a lot of leggings, uh, cloaks, hoods, even work boots, and work gloves as well. Just a little cherry on top for you. And now we really begin to touch base with the more vanilla mods for this. Personally, I think Vanilla Weapons Expanded, the tribal one, would work quite well, as these are the types of weapons and whatnot that you would most likely see in ancient and and in medieval times. The type of simple stuff that a caveman could throw together, or a medieval peasant with no money. We also have the vanilla expanded armors. Now this will add many different types of armor, including power armor and things of that sort, but specifically we're going to be focusing on the plate armor, the chain mail, the things like that that it adds. And truth be told, of course, if you're looking for something close to vanilla in terms of mods to actually expand it, well, the vanilla expanded mod Mods are about as good as it gets, and I mean that with the highest amount of respect. Next up, I would highly recommend the Medieval Medicines mod, as this would be one that's kind of fun and also sort of realistic. You have three new types of medicine, with one being Early Medieval Medicine, Late Medieval Medicine, and Parisian Medieval Medicine. Starting from the left, the Early Medicine here is actually slightly better than Herbal Medicine, the Late in the middle is slightly worse than Normal Industrial Medicine, and the Parisian on the right is just a little bit better than Industrial Medicine. I will say the personal draw drawbacks that I find is that each medicine is locked behind its own uh, research category, so you have to research each individual one, and of course they're a little bit expensive to make, so it's not exactly my forte or style, but they would still be a great addition to any medieval playthrough. Sticking with the medieval medical theme here, we have medieval prosthetics. Now this is personally one I've used quite a bit in the past, and it allows you to make a few different types of medieval prosthetics with the artificial limbs, mechanical limbs, and and finally, Parisian limbs, with those being the tiers of worst to best in terms of the prosthetics. I personally find the same personal drawbacks here as well, where it takes quite a bit to craft one, and it takes a very long time to craft each limb. Even with the lowest artificial tier limbs, it can still be a very long time before you actually have a decent foot or leg or arm or anything of that sort, of course, but they are another great addition. Now, I realize I've been talking about other mods that go along with the, uh, torches, the throwing axes, and the flaming bow and crossbow for quite a while now, but that's just kind of how I like to do my mod showcases, of course. I always like to kind of just showcase something of a mod list more than just an individual mod, but to kind of touch base again with the main three that we've been discussing, I think they look good. I think there's some really simple, but also really necessary and fun additions. The type of stuff, like I mentioned earlier, I could see being added to Vanilla Rimworld, and like I mentioned, and those are my favorite types of mods normally as well. But be sure to let me know what you guys think of the mods. If you have any personal mods you'd like to see me try to review or any recommendations there. If you'd like to recommend any for our community to check out or just any questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I very much appreciate it and I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.